Navy guy, Marine, future Army. Yep. Doing Navy <laughs> Marine work. Doing yeah. Navy Marine work. <laughs> a diver, yes. boy. A diver. What are these two people doing? Jack and Joe. Yeah. Running up the hill. Yeah. Guess what's going to happen? <laughs> Somebody's going to get pegged. Walking yep. in the street, man. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's happened to me before. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> I wish I was mean, I Dominican. busted. Yeah, but I but didn't I want to. About it later. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still shamed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I had to get certified in spy, which is a special patrol insertion extraction. Yeah. So uh, it's where you you've seen at air shows, you dangle from a chopper. In this case, it was a CH-46, which has the two rotors on top you know what i'm talking about yeah, like a yeah. chinook but yeah, it's yeah. the marine corps version yeah. got it hell hole in the bottom that's what they call it you can fast rope out of that and they got a ramp in the back but anyway you see people here on camp Lejeune, you see them spy rigging all the time you just see you know eight twelve dudes whatever it is hanging from you know and you're looking at it you're like that'd be fun and it almost <laughs> looks like you're like you could eat popcorn while yeah, you're hanging from the ride helicopter yeah theme park shit and and you know of course, your little, my little pea brain didn't put together the fact that, you know, the way I'm seeing it, you know, these guys, so, and I'll explain that. They're like, all right, today we're going to go out and get certified and spy rigging and this and that. Okay. So we go out there and uh, I'm lighthearted about it. I don't care because I've already done a whole bunch of shit. And this yeah. is probably my fourth year in the Marines. This is like 2000, 2001, something like that. And uh, so we're going to spy rig. Oh, we're getting ready to deploy on float, so we had to qualify for that in case we needed it for the MU. And uh, the Marine Expeditionary Unit, you go. everybody does it six months. You go out, float around, look for war. And uh, so we get rigged up, and then, of course, the, the, uh, the crew chief or whatever, he's briefing us, and he's like, this is a $20 million helicopter or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, if you don't stabilize yourself and you guys start rocking, we'd rather lose, you know, 10 Marines than this chopper. So we're going to cut you loose. And I'm thinking, Classic. I've been in too long to hear this shit, yeah. man. <laughs> Suck it. Fuck you and die. Yeah. You're full of shit. I'm real scared. All right. <laughs> whatever. So they link us up and we start getting ready. Long story short. So it goes, like, here's the helo. And then the first four groups or three groups of guy uh, it's two marines two marines two marines for whatever reason and then it goes one marine one marine one marine one marine and uh i was the one marine right after the groups and my buddy phelps duck so this is 2000 that's when it was um we didn't have iphones and all that cool stuff but camcorders were coming into play and the little ones yeah but they were expensive i that's one of my one regrets i wish i would have just bought one and so this guy fucking duct taped it to his hand so that he would have it up there you know so he could film us and i'm like this seems a little extreme you know <laughs> but i wasn't thinking and so what happens is that the helo takes off and you just walk forward with your hands out like this boom, 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 and then it picks you up I'm like, ah, that's cool. And oh, you got to wear your helmet, you got all your gear on, your rifles, cross slung, and goggles. And uh, everyone has them. The, and uh, so we go up and up and up, and I'm like, cool, you know? And I'm like, then it starts to go like, well, how high are we going? <laughs> okay, now we're like really high. Like, wow. this motherfucker. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I can see Campbell's, I can see the fucking Atlantic Ocean and the whole town of Jacksonville now and then this motherfucker dips his nose and takes off yeah and we start hauling ass forward well what happens is at first you're like I'm like looking down at the other Marines and he's like rolling the camera out like whoo everyone's having a good time right yeah. we take off dude and they blow backwards and so now I'm by myself it's it seems like and now all I can think about is oh my god I hope we go over water because at least maybe there's a chance. <laughs> it can land in the ocean. My mouth just went cotton dry. And I, I mean, even before that, I loved jumping. I loved roller all that kind of shit. But this was the first, this was an experience. And then, dude, when he dips and goes forward, <laughs> you can't hear anything. Like, just intense. And the guys be below you blow backwards. So you're just by yourself. And you're trying to figure out how to stay forward. 
And then I was like, oh my God, oh, this is crazy. And then I, it whipped me around backwards. And so my goggles went because <laughs> now I'm backwards and my legs and arms are out like yeah. this. I'm like, fucking shit. And I'm trying to get turned back around, and my god, and then the wind hits just right, so my goggles go, whoa, whoa, Catch whoa. Air. they're beating the shit out of my face, and I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> and so it takes like five minutes, which doesn't sound like a long time, but it is in that situation. To get beat in the face me. with goggles, yeah, That's and I'm like lot, trying to yeah. fix my shit and get fucking straightened back out. So now I'm like, I believe I can fly, you know. So <laughs> And then I'm looking around and dude, my mouth just goes cotton, cotton dry because this is a whole new thing. Yeah. And I didn't know we were gonna go 150, 200 knots That's through hard the ass. air. And I was just like, I think it took, I mean, it took a while for me to kind of settle down, but I just didn't see that coming, especially the goggles about, I'm like, I thought I broke my nose. Yeah. And I was like, am I bleeding? But if you take your arm down, you start to dip one way. Right. So you're like, God damn it. <laughs> So that I mean that was pretty intense, and then uh, when we landed, um, you unhook and run away, and the helicopter wash makes you feel like Superman because you know you got all this gear on, but it's blowing you away from the ship. And the other guy's like, "How was it?" I was like, "Make sure I wasn't bloody everywhere." And I was like, "It's awesome, man. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> You're gonna like it." But you know, th these are things that I wish somebody who had done that told me a little bit about it before they're like, yeah. "Hey, just fucking hang on, man. You'll be all right." Usually, Hang on. Usually when it's like a passive event where it's like you're along for the ride, they don't give you a heads up at all. They Why would they? They let you get ready. Because they're like, ha, 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 You'll ruin ha, ha, it for them, you know? Yeah, yeah. God.